effects with an Arteza trailer. For example, in one of the parts we use a transition. The screenshot that I am showing you right now shows us using the transition and how we did it. We did this just to add more effects with two Arteza trailer. We chose to film Arteza trailer with the London. This is because we wanted to show the London image to our audience. We used props such as guns with the Arteza trailer. We did this just to fit into the typical conventions of our action thriller. Films that we look to for inspiration and, and to also compare to Arteza trailer were films such as 21, Training Day and American Gang Gangster. These films were films that were action-packed, explosive and intense. There are some shots with an Arteza trailer where we had to alter the lighting. For example, the poker scene, we had to change the lighting to be more darker and grimy just to fit in with what we were trying to show to the audience. Some of the shots in our teaser trailer, we decided to speed up. We decided to speed them up because we wanted some of the shots to be quicker and faster, fitting in within the action genre. The screenshot that I'm now showing you shows us speeding up the shots. Texts were also used within our teaser trailer to explain the story and to explain what is going on to the audience in our teaser trailer. We used text because we had no audio. The only thing that we had was our soundtrack. Within our teaser trailer, we used many different shots and um, lots of different camera angles. We used such shots such as low camera angle shots that where we filmed our main character Sal from a low angle just to show how dominant he is. The soundtrack of our teaser trailer came from Garage Band. This is where we this is where we made it and created it from. We decided to use the soundtrack because we thought it was upbeat and quick, and we thought that it fitted in within the action genre well, fitting in with the conventions of our genre. In our teaser trailer, we wanted our character to be just smart with a good dress code, following the typical conventions of a hustler type of character. A hustler type of character is normally dressed in a nice smart shirt, smart trousers, with a tie. We followed this. We were inspired by the film 21, where the main character in that film has a similar dress code to, to the one in ours. One of the typical conventions of an action thriller movie is that it contains a lot of fight scenes. Within our teaser trailer, we also had a fight scene, including our main character Sal. The clip that you're now being shown shows the fight scene happening. We had, to, we had to choreograph the scene over and over again to make it look realistic so the audience would believe that it was real. The combination of the teaser trailer poster and magazine is very effective and can be compared to a real media product. For our magazine, we took inspiration from Inception, Max Payne and Terminator Salvation magazine front covers as we felt they fitted in with the codes and conventions of our teaser trailer. For our poster we took inspiration from The Bourne, Ultimatum, Public Enemies and Max Payne because they were great examples of what action thriller posters consisted of. In our teaser trailer we have fast cuts and movement and this is implemented in our poster. This is shown by the background of the poster being radio blurred. The feature on top of the magazine shows that the audience can interact with the magazine cover. On the bottom right hand of the magazine cover you can see a picture of James Bond. This is because we want to show that there is going to be a new feature film coming out and audience can automatically know when it will be coming out. We chose to have a mid shot of the main character on the poster because we didn't want to focus too much on the main character but what was around him. For the poster, we have a very explosive and exciting scene in which the main character is trapped in. The background shows a fiery explosion to represent action and adventure and fits in with the codes and conventions of our media trailer. The layout of the poster is laid out in a certain way so the audience automatically know where the title, tagline and other elements are. All of the text on the poster except the actor's name is in white to represent a cold-blooded film and is easier to read on a poster. The tagline has been put in a way that the audience can read from top to bottom and then reach the conclusion which is the main title of the film. On the magazine cover we have the main character facing the gun at the camera. This is because we want the audience to be part of the film. We put the date and the price of the magazine on the bottom left of the magazine cover. This is because we want to focus more on the main character and not the price. Audience Go. feedback will play a very important part in our evaluation as it will tell us what the audience liked, disliked and what they thought we can improve on, on our teaser trailer. The next few clips you're about to see is our audience feedback, mainly from our target audience which was 16 to 25 male. Um, I like 
I like the, uh, the speed of, of the trailer and, and the music that has been used in the trailer because you know, it shows how, how it's an action film. The intensity of, you know, of it is, is very good. Well, the speed has its positive, but to a certain extent it is quite confusing. So I think that's the only negative bit about your trailer. Um, just be more uh, precise and concise with uh, what you're actually showing. But so far, I like the use of the props and the, the venue itself is pretty cool. Um, I like the fact that it was quick pace and I like some of the shots, like when the um, cigarette fell on the floor, I thought that was a good shot. Um, I didn't like the fact that you used the main character too much, you showed too much of the main character, which um, I should thought should have been cut down a bit. Um, I think that you could have um, made it a little bit um, longer, but however, it was um, overall it was quite good. I really like the shots. I like the, the fast paced action, I'm very short. I thought that the whole thing was really formed quite well and it came together as a really good uh, piece. I thought that um, the genre, it sort of, um, it was four hours sort of age group, so I thought that went really well as well. There wasn't really much that I didn't like because I thought it was really good. But one thing that one thing that actually stood out that I thought wasn't really that well constructed was the last shot where the cameras kicked. I thought that um, it was just too early, the sound jumped, and I thought that didn't go really well. Just some quality of the shots weren't great, but I thought the shots were caught really well, just the quality wasn't there, but everything else was really good. We also use online resources such as Facebook to showcase our work to our friends and viewers. We got a good response, and here are the results. From our audience feedback, we have learned that one of the positive outcomes is the pace of our teaser trailer. The audience really liked our pace because we were trying to portray an action thriller genre and the pace really played a big part in providing that. Also, the music was very well edited and it really suited the genre. As a critique, some of the audience members did not like the, sh the shots that we were using, such as we used the medium shots too frequently. What we have learned from this is that we should use a better variety of shots to express the story or the character or location that we are trying to portray. So for next time, this will really help us. In the construction of our teaser trailer and ancillary text, we used different types of media technologies. The main software was Final Cut Pro in which we created our teaser and Photoshop to create our poster and magazine cover. We used the camera to film various shots to give our audience an idea of what our teaser was about. We used Final Cut Pro for editing and for different effects. For example, at the start we used a fade and we also used the wipe effect to change from one scene to another. These ideas came to us from our research and planning stages when we looked at examples of a similar genre to ours. An example would be in the trailer 21. There are various types of fades to tease the audience of what the film is about. We use YouTube to look at films with a similar genre to ours and took inspiration from them. The films we looked at were 21, American Gangster and Training Day. These three films inspired us to create something similar. We also use YouTube to post a rough cut of our teaser trailer and to see how we can improve it according to our audience feedback. For our poster magazine cover, we looked at past examples from films that also had a similar genre to ours. An example we looked at was the Public Enemies magazine cover. We wanted to create something that was similar because we liked the layout and the way everything was structured. We created our poster and magazine on Photoshop using different effects such as a stroke just to make our text stand out. During the construction we also used GarageBand to create our soundtrack. We wanted something that was fast paced and fit with what was going on screen. We also use Soundtrack Pro to give the on-screen text an effect. For our evaluation we plan on using the green screen to show and talk about our work along with poster and magazines we looked at for inspiration. We also have plan on having voiceovers on Final Cut Pro to explain why we created certain effects.